Hey what's up guys, JB here and I just wanted to share this video with you to just uh, kind of show you my new air compressor. Well actually I got it a couple of weeks ago but if you've been checking out some of my videos I did use it very recently to make my mobile bar. I did also get an air lead and a nice staple gun which is right here. Oh yeah, but that's for another video. So I needed a compressor and I wanted one that wasn't that big and I also wanted one that wasn't very noisy at all and as you can probably see on here, super silent. Oh yes, it really is super silent. It's uh, got a little air filter on the end here which really, really does muffle the sound of the motor. I did actually accidentally start this when I first got it without putting the air filter on and it was a bit louder but not too bad but once you put that filter on it really does lower the noise you can see it's very compact it's very small that's probably about four or five hundred millimeters wide by maybe about five hundred millimeters tall very small very narrow can really fit into uh, any kind of area in your workshop really and it's got this brilliant handle on it so look, it's really not too heavy, but a, a nice mobile carrying handle as well. The air compressor is powered by this 550 watt motor, which is a 240 volt power supply. The total pressure of the air tank is 7 bar, and that is good enough for your staple guns and for inflating tyres and your air gun and all sorts. I've only got a staple gun at the moment but I'm definitely planning to get more air tools. This is an 8 litre air tank but it can displace air at 120 litres per minute. So we've obviously got the motor, we've got the intake, the air filter, then turning it round you can see here we've got the pressure gauge, there's a few other bits and pieces which you're not meant to fiddle with, you're not meant to touch anything other than let the air out. It's oil free, it's maintenance free, it's absolutely perfect. So the only thing we need to do is just to turn it on and have a listen. So if we turn it on by the power we've got this red button here which we actually need to pull up for the compressor to start. Now once it has filled up to the maximum capacity to the 8 litres then it does just automatically shut itself off. So let's pull the button and I'll just carry on talking at the same volume and that really is quiet. That's even quieter than the wife's hairdryer. Now this doesn't take long to fill up but I'm not going to fill up all the way because I'm going to have to drain it again afterwards. So I'm going to stop it right there. I'm going to turn it off at the mains and uh, yeah, the lead's not that long to be honest. Look, that's the length of the lead. It's a, it's a bit rubbish really. But anyway, as long as you can plug it in close to a, a socket and what we need to do is just to release there's a little valve underneath which we just open up to release the air so I'll do that in a moment. It has as far as I know only one outlet here but I'm wondering not that I really need to I'm just wondering whether this can actually be adapted on the other side it seems to be just a closed valve but I'm wondering whether you could actually put another outlet on that side but for now just one on here is absolutely fine for me so there you go there's your Hyundai 8 litre 550 watt powered motor air compressor I'm loving it I think I paid about 120 pounds for this on Amazon it wasn't a bad deal at all I was looking at the Stanley Fat Max one uh, fair bit more expensive, not much different, it looked a bit nicer but you know what, I'm actually going to put this underneath this workbench so it's even hidden because it's so small and it's easy to carry, easy to hide away. Fantastic, any questions about this leave those 
in the comments box below. Awesome guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.